So I'm Laurent Lafosse, I'm a French man who started to do uh, arthroscopic latarge many years ago, seven years ago. I'm doing uh, only shoulders. I thought about making a combination between the latarge and the arthroscopic procedure. So seven years ago, I started to do this latarge was described by latarge in 1954 for the first time. Some people develop the Bristol arthroscopically, and I personally develop the latarge procedure arthroscopically with a double screw and the full contact. In terms of instability today, I think that what is important is to consider that stability of the shoulder is linked to two major elements. The first one is the bone support, the second one is the ligament around the humeral head. But we know today that as soon as the ligament is stretched or torn, and then we have to think about the kind of ligamentoplasty like we do for the knee. So the latarche is going to bring the double advantage to reconstruct the bone loosening and to reconstruct the problem of the ligament by doing a ligamentoplasty with the conjunct tendon. Before 2003, on my toolbox, I had two kind of procedure. The first one was the arthroscopic bank cart, and the second one was the open latarche. Now, I started to think about making combination, and as you know, arthroscopy is much better than open surgery. It has been proved since the beginning of arthroscopy to be more reliable and have a lot of advantages compared to what open surgery is, and meniscus was the first one, but today we don't even think about doing an open ligamentoplasty for the knee, and we don't even think to do any more open bank art in most of the countries today. So I realize how much this device is helping you in the most critical part of the open latarge, which is the positioning of the graft. So the device is not only due for arthroscopic latarge, but even done for open latarge. So I think that's really one of the procedures that needs the most education that I've never seen. And education by learning centers, by cadaver lab, by plastic shoulders, by everything, learning about instrumentation. So thanks to my tech for allowing me doing all these things. And uh, I think that today we will have many patients that will have the benefit of this. I think today on my mind, uh, everything about shoulder surgery is visualization, release, and fixation. I think that today my tech improved a lot with the next track coming in the field because the pressure is much more reliable and it's a very good pump, which is a good combination with the shaver, which is a very reliable shaver now and it's a great improvement compared to the previous one. Initially, when I was doing arthroscopic latarche, people were saying it's only you can do that because you thought about it since such a long time and you have practiced it through today that I've done around 300 uh, cases that a lot of other people have been doing that and today more than 200 has been done by other surgeons than me so it's not a magic surgery. Today if we have more than 500 arthroscopic letters they manage in the field it's because people just believe in it and it must be a reliable procedure.